Okay, we should be to number five. Let's go back. We have downloaded our, our lab. We put our name in here. John Doe is who I'll be right now. All of this uh, verbiage or words here, we don't, you know, it's just explaining what the data is. Our first question was this pie graph. Let's take a look. There's my pie graph. How do I get that in there? Copy graph, then go back, paste it into number one. And there it is, just pretty as you please. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Number two was the histogram. Let's see if I can get that histogram. Control, let's say right click, copy graph. Put that one in here. Paste. Yeah, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Take and stretch it. Beautiful. Uh, number uh, three was the stem and leaf. Just go into our session window. Scroll up here where we had it. There's my st stem and leaf right here. Let's see. Control C. Stem and leaf plot. Boom. There it is. Number four. Okay. The descriptive statistics. Let's see what we had here. Mean for the females. Control C. Mean for the females. Okay. Backspace so it looks prettier. Uh, standard deviation. Control C. Pop that in there, control V, I'm pasting it in there, backspace so it looks nicer. The males, mean height, control C. Remember I changed the data. There is the average. Back that off. Standard deviation. Control C. Pop that in there. Boom. Backspace. Alright, let's see what number five is. What is the most common color of car? Well, I'm going to go back and copy this. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to say, as evidence, evidence, in the pie graph, the most common color, colors, colors of cars were red and green, which both occurred, occurred five times, representing 25% each. So there were two colors since they were tied since so there were two colors colors tied for the most frequently occurring there's no reason to paste the graph in there again what is seen in the shape of the histogram now I'm going to be honest with you in my histogram it is not skewed let me see uh, on number six. If you had a histogram, I'm going to pause for just... Let's say, for example, this is from an old lecture, uh, that my histogram looked as so. This histogram is skewed to the right. Pretend it's a cat dragging its tail. Whichever direction the tail is, it's skewed that way. So if it's, if it's got a tail to the right, it's skewed right. If it has a tail to the left, it's skewed left. If it is almost like a perfect bell, it's approximately normally distributed. But I promise you, yours will probably be either skewed left or skewed right. Mm. We'll take a look at number, I think it's number seven on the next video.